What is going on ladies and gentlemen? It is late at night and I told you guys I'm gonna do these videos every single day. When a content creator or an individual hits me up and says, hey, what is this, this and that? Or how do I do this, this and that? So I'm here to help you guys, help me, help everybody else make beautiful content on this beautiful day. The question of the day comes from Slater Trades, who was just in our Casa TikTok Zoom class. I have never met this man before in my life. He asked it to the group, and I was able to answer the question at the end of the little class. So, question is, when will your video blow up? And the answer, honest answer, will be never. Dramatic pause. Why will it never blow up? So let me let me explain to you what I actually mean. Your video will never blow up because it is not about, I mean, clearly, you know, if you post very good quality content and it's the best content in the world and you put a trending sound and you do all the right things and you put your hashtags and you, and you reach out and reply to all your comments, great. Everything is a great aspect. Everything does, every, all that, does whatever it could possibly do for you, but it's the audience. If the audience doesn't fuck with you, the video will never grow anywhere. But that being said, what am I trying to say? So let's say comments is a very valuable uh, aspect or a very valuable, what's the word I'm looking for? Attribute to growing on TikTok. If in the tw first 24 hours, no one comments on your video, you're not gonna grow, right? Let's say likes is a very amazing uh, contribution. Ha, that's the word I was looking for. Likes is a very con, no, why did I say it differently? Whatever, contributing likes to your video blows up your video. And let's say you get below average 50% what you usually get in likes on that video, it will not blow up. Let's say watch time, which it is, just make sure I always talk about watch time. Make sure you guys know what that is in your analytics. If you're posting 35 second videos and it's saying your watch time is 15 seconds, start posting motherfucking 15 second videos, son. Anyways, if watch time is the key to blowing up on TikTok and your watch time is 10 seconds of your 45 seconds, that means the 50,000 views, the 10,000 views, the 500 views that you got only 10 seconds were viewed because the video is too fucking long, but that's another story for another day. So when will your video blow up? It will never blow up because the audience chooses when your video will blow up. If they are not commenting, if they are not liking, if they're not watching two, three times, if they're not sharing it to their TikTok and their YouTube and their Facebook and their MySpace and their Twitter, if they're not sharing it between friends and DMs, your video will never grow. So what does that mean? Engage with your friends and family. Follow your friends and family back. And no, I'm not talking about the people from your city. I'm talking about your friends and family on TikTok. Stop thinking of them as your fans, your audience. Think of them as your friends and family. The family are the ones that stay there every single day and hit you up every single day. Your friends, that's your family, and your friends will be someone that stays tuned every once in a while and says, I love your videos and supports you and motivates you every single day of the week. Guys, you will not grow on TikTok by expecting a good quality video to blow up 100% of the time. You could have the best video in the world. It might have been the worst time to post it. I personally don't choose times, but if you post it at 8 a.m., post it next week at 8 p.m. And if you didn't like the views, I recommend do not del ever delete your videos. Um, but if that's the way you guys want to take it, just delete the video and repost it and act like you never posted it again because that's what I talked about the other day. If you guys watch my social media online class, it wasn't an online class, I'm coming. If you guys watch my first recorded social media class, I speak about artists who post their videos and say TBT, no one gives a fuck about a TBT, blood. Post those videos like it's the first time you ever posted that video and make sure you get the streams and the video views that you're supposed to get. Whether they get on YouTube and it says it's five years old, the song is brand new to them now. So lots of things that go into actually blowing up. But at the end of the day, if your audience at that time and very moment does not fuck with your video, they might not fuck with it on Monday, but on Tuesday or Wednesday, they might fuck with it on Tuesday and Wednesday and it gives a little boost. 
And then on Saturday and Sunday, they give you another little boost. And then next month, someone comes back and comments and likes and shares. And it might give you another boost. Guys, your TikTok has a span life of like 90 days. Give it two to three months before you decide to private it, before you decide to delete it, before you get insecure about your views. Because you never know when that video will blow up the next day. And we have a lot. A lot, a lot. I don't know what the word I'm looking for. But we have a lot of ways to do video replies and boost that video up again. We have a lot of ways. There's a new feature where we have playlists where you could put every cue of the day playlist. YouTube has it too. TikTok has it. I could put all the cue of the days like I do on my TikTok. And you'll see all the cue of the days in the little album right when you get on my page instead of scrolling down through all the videos. And then there's a new one where if I make a video about apples and then i reference apples in a future video i can also connect and link those videos together it is pretty weird uh the playlist looks pretty dope uh, it's kind of like playlist but i'm guessing it's like a thread like twitter where you just keep adding videos facebook has it now too it's amazing i love threads threads are amazing guys stop worrying about your views if you're dropping quality content the day for you is going to come sooner or later but appreciate what you guys have right now Appreciate the comments you have right now and make sure you keep them coming back because retention is key and the goal to blowing up. One more thing, if you keep conversations going in that comment section, that watch time will grow because they're coming back and the video is playing in the background. They don't even realize they're watching the video again while they're having a whole conversation, especially people like me who have controversial TikToks. I talk a lot of shit and they come back to talk a lot of shit. So it's a great day to be a controversial TikToker. But for you guys who want to show love and want to show support, have a motivational conversation. And ask someone how their day was in the comment section and keep them in the comment section. And if they don't reply for a week, reply back and be like, hey, man, I was wondering how your day was. You never know. When will your videos blow up? Whenever your fans decide, whenever your audience decide, whenever your family and friends decide to show you love. Guys, it's Dominican John. I'm waiting for you guys to comment. Someone comments. So I don't have to grab it from a Zoom class. So I don't have to grab it from a different section. So I can grab it from my own comment section and say, this person supported me, loved me, grew my video so it can blow up. You see what I was talking about? You guys commented on my video so it can blow up. And now I'm learning and teaching someone else the question that you ask that could support another person's future who doesn't know the question to ask and they don't have to ask the question they just have to watch this video and in five minutes ba -ba -bum -bum, they're golden thank you guys for watching i appreciate you guys Domingo john topic of the day um what do i have for topic of the day videos pow 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 uh logan paul has the best marketing strategy in history i thought it was jake paul who was killing it in his boxing game but this man is selling a hydration drink hydration hydration drink that's like gatorade and this man is putting on a beard and getting stranded on an island this man's getting monkeys stealing the hydration drink he got people jumping off helicopters this shit is amazing and his partner is ksi as opposed to one motherfucking video or photo and all he does is uh I think he does reviews on YouTube and his fans are like, he don't got a post, but that's, that's, that's for whatever. Anyways, guys, drop a comment down below. I love you guys so much. Uh, it is Dominican John. I'm here every single day. I don't care if it's eight in the morning. I don't care if that's nine at night. I think it's like nine at night right now. And if someone asks me a question, I'm going to try to get that video up. I'm going to get that video edited. I'm going to get this recording sounding beautifully. I finally got my skin color corrected and hopefully since i zoomed into my face the box is literally right here that i don't get blurry like i did the last video but i'm learning every day of the week guys i love you guys so much thank you guys keep tuning in and we're gonna keep fucking working